Yes, drunk. I'm sure you're all familiar with the NES Remix games for the Wii U, where they break down classic original Nintendo titles into a series of mini-games. For example, you play Donkey Kong as Link and you can't jump, or getting a hole in one and golf, playing Mario in the dark, or playing Mario backwards as Luigi in Super Luigi Brothers. Now the director of these games, Koichi Hayashida, said in an interview last year with IGN that the possibility of having more of these games for other systems entirely depends on us, the audience. So hey, let's come up with some ideas for a Super Nintendo Remix game because, well, why the hell not? At the very least, it's a fun exercise coming up with ideas for this game. Keep in mind though, that Nintendo for the most part sticks with first party titles, so that narrows this list down to games like Link to the Past, Mario World, and Mario World 2, Pilot Wings, F-Zero, Star Fox, Super Play Action Football. Okay, maybe they won't use that last one. It would be cool as hell to include Mega Man or Castlevania in games like this, but it's highly unlikely. Also, very quickly, I want to mention the Super Nintendo subreddit and its Game of the Month challenges. We're trying to put together a leaderboard of sorts for whatever the Game of the Month is. So far we've had F-Zero, Link to the Past, Super Metroid, Terranigma as the Game of the Month, so come check it out and post your best screenshots and scores. The first minigame I thought of was dodging all the angry chickens in Link to the Past for as long as possible. I used to do this for fun anyway, so it would be cool to have an online leaderboard for the longest times. Of course, you'd have to have the speed and aggressiveness of the chickens gradually increase the further you go, lest you have some poor soul out there trying to do this for like 8 hours. Keep the area the same as it is in the game too, since there's kind of a minor strategy component there, like if you end up outside that normal area by the barn, you're gonna have a rough time of it. Staying with Link to the Past, Reddit user Leftover Noodles came up with a torch challenge, keeping all of the torches lit in a large dungeon. That's a great one, because not only does it require the ability to dash accurately, but occasionally fight off bats that give you magic to keep your lantern lit. On to Super Mario World. One idea is to fly through a stage full of barriers and enemies without getting hit. Credit Nintendo Life for coming up with that one. But I've got one. Remember that stage in the Chocolate World that had the fake finish line? You'd go back to the world map and it would just open up a circle that puts you right back at the same level? It might be cool to have like a huge ghost house, or maybe just a normal level, that has multiple finish lines. All of them fake except one. There'd have to be a time limit, lots of keyhole portals, give it the works, give it kind of a Metroid feel. Next we have Super Mario Kart. And Eric from Game vs. Game had a great one here. The challenge of just hitting as many carts as you can with just the green shell. You get more points for distance and minus for any ricochet off the walls. You could do this in both a race and in battle mode. A crackpot idea I came up with is a capture the flag Mario Kart mode. The exact kind of game mode you'd see in games like Unreal Tournament or Halo, only in Mario Kart. Now that'd be freaking cool. Sticking with racing games, for F-Zero, one minigame could be to complete a race backwards, not only having the track reversed, but to race into a ton of oncoming traffic. There could also be more basic challenges, like fastest times or not touching the side barriers. Really, if there's any game that would benefit the most from an online leaderboard just from the basic gameplay alone, it's F-Zero. Another game like that is Pilot Wings. The game as it is lends itself well to a compilation like SNES Remix. But if you want to come up with something creative, you could have all sorts of obstacle courses with the jetpack, bouncing around on small platforms while clearing rings, or my pipe dream, combine the armed military helicopter you get at the end of the game with a city under attack by Bowser in SimCity. You gotta take him out with an arsenal of weapons while minimalizing the damage to the city. Or even better, take him out with Fox McCloud and his crew from Star Fox. Now that'd be freaking cool. Moving on, you gotta involve Super Metroid somehow. And of course, what did that game do best? But have you explore creepy areas and look for random stuff. So the logical thing to do here is just have it be that. Find the hidden item in this huge area while destroying all the enemies in the way. One twist though could be to have the area randomized, just like in the ancient cave in Lufia 2. Every room could be brand new and totally different each time you play. Of course, you gotta include the Donkey Kong Country series, although I admit I'm a bit stumped as to what to come up with these games. Maybe involve Yoshi as an interactive character, maybe a minecart race, or a banana collection race set to a time limit. There's tons of crossover potential here too, like maybe having Mario or Yoshi or even Samus complete a Donkey Kong Country level. If you have any thoughts about that, let me know in the comments. And last, I'll mention Star Fox. A good old-fashioned boss run would be a lot of fun here, especially since there's like 15 different bosses if you include everyone in all three paths. You can also have an enemy percentage challenge. Get swarmed with tons upon tons of enemies, and you gotta get 100%. There's also stuff like flying through rings, but uh, that's kind of already in the original game. 
So that's it for now. Yeah, I realize there's lots of other games too, like Super Punch-Out, the Kirby games, Yoshi's Island, and whatever else. So again, if you have any other ideas for other mini games, leave a comment. And hey, let's pester the powers that be at Nintendo to let them know that we'd like to see a game like this. Hey, why not? It'd be fun. Go pound on their doors, write them angry letters, or just uh, sit and have a drink and daydream like I do. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.